guys. We're here at Sturgeon Lake. We decided we are going to go to snipe this morning. Got all the way to snipe. Turns out that uh, our kayaks couldn't handle three foot tall waves. So we decided to turn around. It took us about an hour to get here, but oh well. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Me and my cousin and his kayak. And so far, it's pretty nice though. As you can see, sunny. Sturgeon's got a a bad uh, algae problem right now, so we're gonna see how terrible that is. But, I don't know, see if we can catch some fish. See you out there. All right, boys, we're out here in Sturgeon. Pretty uh, choppy out here. Got something a little water because my bag weighs freaking 50 pounds. It's starting to rain on us. We're hoping to catch something out here. A little bright green, orange, and all that stuff. Green, some jig head on. And... Oh, we just missed one already. Watch your language, man. <laughs> Drop down and see if I can get one. I tied a, I don't know, 10 foot long, uh, 15 pound bar leader on onto my braid. So I'm hoping that helps me. You got it already. But I uh, got him, that's what it is. We hooked him up with uh, one of those uh, yeah, secret okay. Zach Tackle. Zach Tackle, steely jigs, orange. Here we go. Oh, this might be a good size. Oh! What was that? <laughs> We're just hoping for this wind to calm down just a little bit. If it doesn't... Oh, there's that big black ring cloud over there. Holy smokers. We got a sailboat over there. We're not far from the dock at all. We're pretty safe. Yeah. We're on. Went from like six, you're not four and a half to like 15, 14 feet. Like right away. Yeah. So. Oh, this might be big. Is this a jack? You want a uh, net? Yeah, pass me your fancy net. We got one of these fancy nets here. <laughs> I can't get it. I can't get it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this might be bad. Oh, no, we're good. All right. This sucks. <laughs> I think I'm. This is not good. Yeah, all good. Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Fell off right in my lap. Uh, all right. Oh, well, that's one. That's what we came for. He told us. He said last night that we don't. He doesn't think we were gonna catch any fish. That was at Snipe Lake. Let me rephrase that. Snipe probably would have been bigger size. But sturgeon always. Uh, Lots of fish. They're always guaranteed to catch something that's sturgeon, I think. I don't know about ice fishing. I might try ice fishing. Here. Trudy eyes. Flip them around. Give them one more. Where's the fish in the boat? 14.6 feet. I already said mark. Why did you just go to 17 feet on here? Huh? Just went to 17 feet on here. I'm 
weight to it. No. Do you want to see this Oh! It might be it. No. Same size. In the middle of Why are they eating? Both of them are hooked like that. I'm actually kind of glad you came here rather than you went to snipe. Yeah, I snipe you. Oh, you hooked me in his gills. Got me in his gills. That's my favorite kind of fishing, no catch and release. Because I don't want to have to go home. Jig it. You can't dead stick. Come on, give it some action, boy. I caught two fish. You enticed them over here. Every video I film, the freaking wind takes control of it. Are we moving? Are we moving? Oh, I had a fish. What happened to my drag? No, this guy's tiny. Hey, so why don't you just do a test Now I took my stuff. I had a fish. It was going that way and I couldn't feel it. I have the net like. Oh, I got it in my eye. Is that bad? I don't know. It's not that dirty. It's almost dirty. Not. I think we should eat one. That's fear. You want a catching hook? We need 45 likes. 45 likes. Yeah, or else we're not doing no catching hook. If this video gets 50 likes, I will let a jack bite my hand. In the next ep episode of the APO. The wind's not terrible. What? I think even in the Greek system would be pretty good. Like the wind's not bad at all. Like you wanna go fishing? Yeah. What is this most? Maybe Floro is somewhat better. Trusty Dusty, Trusty Dusty. No! You need Trusty Dusty. <laughs> it's just tiny. God, they got some fight in them though. I think that the baby. Sorry about the wind. If you can hear me. Sorry about the wind, but this this thing's got fight in it. No, this is heavy. This is heavier than anything. Oh, I'm dusty, This is heavier than anything I've ever thought. Here, should I grab the bump board? Oh, that's an eater. Let's measure it. Give me trusty test. Oh, I just cut my hand. Oh, I got it. 
he does, he does. Can you put these between your lap, please? Yeah, just put them somewhere. I just slipped my finger open on my freaking measuring rod. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on my bump board. Look at that. I cut my soul. Now I got sturgeon water in my blood. I think it's okay this blood. It's really not that bad. Slave gets not this bad. I don't want to play this one. See that hook popped right out. Like I'm a legend. See if we got ourselves an easier yet. That's a they want to suck. Well I don't I'm not. No, it's too small. No, yeah. It's gotta be like 18 to 19. Got an 18 inch. 18 inch, you're going back in the water. Catch me. Take your rod before I get a bite and lose my rod. This is like instant. I've never caught fish this fast. That fish though had weight. I got it. Look at that. Uh, I cut myself on the edge of the board. I gotta file my edge. I couldn't believe the weight of that thing. Like, what? Something big just came off the bottom. Oh, I just missed one. Oh, I just missed it again. <laughs> I bet you got in the middle of that time. I'm getting drenched. Let's look at the back of my kayak. Yeah, you got lots of water. I haven't got a single little bit of water. Kind of a minnow. See, minnows, you don't need these. These minnows are cute. We can save the lead. Oh, there I got a little bit of water. Yeah, it bounced off. My butt cheeks are wet. Back of yours, not the back of mine. Yeah. No. I don't think it's a No. Oh. <laughs> those are touching from those guys, so. No, I double, double letter, letter, double letter. Oh, I'll let mine let go. Here, bring it I up. don't want your stupid net. <laughs> yeah, it's not okay. Everybody at home, not a stupid net. It's a good net. Go buy yourself one. A Canadian tire, twelve dollars. <laughs> you told me ten. Oh, this boy's feisty. Oh, he might be. Pass me the net. See, now he's using the net. There, I used the net, look. <laughs> Lace, this is a big boy. Thank you, I need help. If Dusty was rubber, I'd like it better. If it was what? Rubber. Yeah, I can see that. But... Minnow, please. Okay. How many is that? Five? I've got like four. That's your second or third. <laughs> you just keep bouncing out of the water. Uh, don't eat trusty dusty on this one, folks. You just look at it. I don't eat trusty dusty on any fish unless it's a jack. <laughs> you don't even trust it. Can I hold that? You don't even need to put it. Look at this sick setup. 
Come break, come break, come break, come break, come break. Got one. Hurry up, I got one. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I'm gonna lose him. Oh, you got him. Oh, he's heavy. Yeah, see, that's what I. <laughs> this one's big. Pump bar day. We should come to Spurgeon more often. We can come again, like Monday. Yeah, this place is awesome. Yeah, well, now that I know it's clean, we can come back. We'll come again Monday before we go. No. Put it my way. Oh, this is a keeper. Look at the size of this boy. No, it's 18 and something to 19. Okay, can you put this in yours and bonk them? Hang on. Put his head up there. We got 18 and a half. Mom. I think we should go for a 19. Yeah, but I, we should look at the rules first because I think it's 19 here. Okay, we'll throw him back. That's a two and a half pound walleye. Did he get you? Mm. He's got blood on me, bud. I love this for camping. I don't like it because in the winter time it's bad to have like bump boards because it like stuns the fish. Uh, well, we have one, but it's in the shack. Yeah, you're supposed to wet them. Like you can use them, but you're supposed to use them. I, have a I would take them, but there's no room in my. Uh, so Sturgeon Lake. I'm gonna put a rag in my kayak so I can wipe my hands. Yeah. I just wanna thank uh, Jesus for this fish. Jesus! <laughs> oh, watch, 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 top water, top water. I'm gonna catch a tuna. Just using my tub. Look at all the fish. Yeah, we're on a good spot. To catch fish, you have to be one with the water. So I decided maybe I should absorb some water. This guy seems. Oh, that's a keeper. Is he? Yeah. Here, hold on, I'm just gonna put mine in my. I better use Dusty Dusty. Dusty Dusty. Dusty Dusty. Dusty Dusty. Dusty Dusty. Dusty Dusty. This is actually the perfect net for a kayak, though. Okay. If it's 18, I think it's 18 and 17 and 3 quarters and 19. Is it 50 centimeters? 50 It's an 18 inch fish we needed. Oh, maybe it's 47 to 55 centimeters. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I bet you. So 18 and a half we'll keep. 18 to 19. Anything over that? No. So can we check that guy? We have a challenge going on. Here, let's see. That's a keeper. Got him? Don't lose him. I lost him. That's why I won't get you. When I put my hand in the water, my cut Things. Oh, I got one. Probably getting one. Probably. No, I bet that's just. Dang it, bro! That happens in any water. You know, no. Dang it, bro! When you went to grab Randy's boat, just burned. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you heard that story already? No, I was the same way. He was like, oh. you're like freaking lace. Yeah. Because I was using the pickerel rig, and every time I got a fish, I'd lose both minnows. And then he was like, oh my god. Yeah. And then finally just gave me the tub. I do the same thing. So I eventually just quit and then bought those uh, minnow looking hooks. Yeah. Plastic. I just as many as I did not take those. See you when 
fishing for walleye. You want to find some sort of. Uh, Yeah, well, I'm getting something. Anyway, like I was saying, you guys can hear this. This might be windy. Okay, like I was saying, before the wind comes back, if you were fishing for walleye, you want to find some sort of drop off or point. See, we're. Weed edge. Yeah, or weed edge. Any kind of structure ish. About 10 feet that way, it dropped right from 6 feet to about 14. And we marked a bunch of fish and this ledge runs this way so what we're doing is we're just sitting on the edge and we're catching those cruising walleye that's how that's the one way that is easy to catch any walleye don't go in like two feet of water and just sit there for the rest of the time yeah and we've been out here for like 15 20 minutes yeah and we've already got like over 10 fish in the boat so we're not professionals but we are at the same time if you know what i mean we like to think good. yeah self-proclaim the dining room table. Boom, boom. 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 You'll just nail them. But don't come take a spot if you come straight. Yeah. I catch you in my spot. We're gonna have to have a nothing. Let's just be honest. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. We'll Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> Minnow peas. I'm missing eight fish. Where we went? We stopped at a. I'm gonna try and they bite when you're least expecting them. Proof of fact by my good buddy Ken Hunt. <laughs> Your good buddy? <laughs> my, my uncle Ken Hunt. They bite when you least expect My good buddy, uncle cousin, brother. <laughs> well, he's my good buddy. He's my hunt buddy. He's a nice guy. Fish Ken Hunt, if you're watching this, you're a nice guy. Message from Kobe and Lakes. You're a nice guy. Why does my rod keep locking up? Like, look at this. How do you fish your tail? Through the eye and then through the body. Like, something bit my tail already. Some gun. We're gonna vote uh, to be uh, splash or rude by this boateroo. Can I have a minnow, please? I picked up one of these Northland fishing tackle. Uh, like I was saying, I picked up one of these Northland fishing tackle uh, bump measuring board. Paid thirty-five dollars for it at a Trapper Gorge. I love it. it. Actually, goes to thirty-six, which is probably the biggest one that I've seen in a long time. He bought the sticker, and we're gonna slap it on his kayak right here. Trust you lose your paddle. Man, you're gonna lose this fish. <laughs> God dang it. Okay, watch out. I'm gonna slide your paddle inside. Let's put it right over Yep, thank you very much. Anyway. I think I might have to untie from this anchor, go in, empty my kayak, and put this in the truck. Okay, before the wind comes back, like I was saying, key to walleye fishing, structure, jigs, minnows, or leeches. 
I'm not a professional, like I said, but I, I'd like to think I am. If anyone wants to sponsor me, send me something. I don't care. I'll put it in a video. This is how you catch big fish. Big hooks. Oh, I just missed a bite. Oh, well, we're going to get wet. Yeah, but I'm going to sink any minute now. Like, look at the back of my... I got to lean forward. Well, if it's going in that plug, that's a big no-no. There's no scupper hole, or scupper hole, whatever you call them, or scrubber, scrubber whatever it is. So on, they don't, the water doesn't drain out of this. Nice, nice stink. Nice stink, brother. No. I call them spot thieves. Minnow Johnson, please, when you're done. I would have let you back nice. She's slimy buggers. Really? It looks nice on that side. Oh, heads up. These new are okay. It's the ones that are behind me. It's the one after another one. Yeah. By far the best fish I've ever had in my life. Seriously? I've this never, sucks. I've never caught this much fish. Well, this doesn't suck actually. This is the not the slowest. I've, whoa, where'd that wave come from? We're gonna get absolutely clapped. Guys, just came off the water. We do a little cook fruit. Well, we caught the fish. We do a little catch and cook. Got it in a little Ziploc bag here. A couple pellets. Got those little butane stove. Put some oil on it. Got some uh, buttermilk pancake batter. That's the secret recipe I was talking about. About to be good. Got a Ziploc bag to put it in. Should be good. So I'll start cooking it. Maybe flour over the screen, but pour, pour the uh, pancake batter in there. Now I'll get the fish all poured in there. Quite the cooking area here. But I'm going to title this video how to catch, clean, and cook walleye. So this is the cook part, obviously. And my favorite thing is pancake batter. Even though I'm not a huge fan of fish, I'll probably still have some. Give them a nice coating. Turn the stove on. Grab my oil. Hard to do one handed. Oh, can't do it. A 
a phone call, you see. Fredo's always going to get you to help me. Oil's hot. But yeah, I had a good time today. Caught a lot of fish. Well, he did. Not so much me, but the one thing I always remember when catching walleye: find your uh, find your structure, your drop-offs, whatever, your weed edge, and that'll be a good uh, good place to catch fish. fork but I got a filleting knife. This is gonna be difficult I think. Nice and boily. But pretty easy cooking fish. Gets brown, pretty much done for. Just how where am I supposed to put this fish? Oh. Give me a second here. Jesus. That's cool. I might have to go into the bush and take one. Here, try that. It's good. I know. I... It's just really hot. Hot day, hot day. All right. Talent, sexy talent. Got some crispy fish here. He's got one. Little. Super hot though. Let's see if we can get it. Ooh. That's not bad at all. What do you think? It's good, but it's really, really hot. Yeah, it's actually not bad, and I'm not a really big fish fan. Hmm. Get the rest of it cooked up, and then our belly. Well, apparently I say, uh, what, is, what is it? All right, boy. Okay. Apparently I say all right, boys, too much. So, <laughs> no, you know how to do no, he says it just the right amount of time. Yep. All right. So anyway, I just want to thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you liked it. We're all packed up. Quite the mess in here, but oh well. Uh, we did a little catch and cook on how to catch and find the walleye. And I think it worked out. So uh, see you in the next one. Hope you liked. I don't know about you guys, but this is quite annoying. Yeah, there's no need for that. Just sounds like we're driving an airplane. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs>